I guess just for you, we talked a little bit about struggling to find your rhythm a little bit against this Pacers defense. Just what did you see tonight? Um, I mean, I thought I just didn't. I had some opportunities that I liked. I just didn't make them. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it was struggle because of them. You know, I just, I like I said, I had opportunities that I liked that just didn't go in. Um, that's part of it. Third quarter for them, 47. Um, I know it was like a 20 to 6 start. What changed to a degree, or what did they do to be able to, to really put that kind of point total together? Uh, I think we just didn't um, come out to, to start the quarter with enough urgency. You know, I think um, we had a pretty solid second quarter, went into the half with a lead, and I think we just tried to. It seemed like we came out in the management type mode. You know, we came out a little bit slow. and. Um, Knowing that they have fast-paced team, they play even faster at home. Uh, they play better at home, and just they got right to it. And I think they just jumped on top of us and took control of the game in the quarter. And um, you know, once you let a team that that can fill it up and can really get going and that, that plays at that pace, once you let them start feeling good, you know, they can they can go on runs. And I think in that quarter, they um, they put one of those quarters on us. Pacers have won four out of five. Maybe take advantage of to to come up with that record. Um, I think uh, offensively, just their pace and you know how well they crash the glass. They've uh, outworked us on the offensive rebounding, and you know we've given them second and third opportunities in each of those games that they won. Um, the pace, you know, they've kind of caught us sleeping with the pass ahead. Sometimes they pushing it uh, to the point where we can't get get our defense set. Sometimes us not sprinting back. Sometimes us just not finding guys, and they get behind us or. You know, we're not covering the gaps and they get downhill and we end up sending them to the line or they end up getting an and one or just getting a clean look because we don't, you know, sprint back and get matched up. And uh, they just presented a lot of a lot of problems for us. But um, I think at this point in the season is just something that we look at and we know, like, these are challenges for us. It's stuff that we're not good enough at. And um, in our games against them, they've taken full advantage of it and they've been able to beat us. But uh, it's just a, it's a long season, man. And, um, I think one thing for us is we got to look at this and not just say, oh, you know, it just went that way. We got to do a better job of addressing it and just know that as the season goes on, we want to continue to just be a, a better team uh, than we are right now. In the same way, the first 10 games of the season, we want to be a better team. And uh, we look back at that now and we like, man, we look like a completely different team. And I think if we just keep on having that type of mentality and taking those types of strides, you look up 30 games from now. And we should be looking back at this like, man, that was embarrassing. The same way we looked back at the beginning of the season. But that's the, the growth that teams go through. And that's um, what you experience and, and how long an NBA season is. So um, hopefully that'll be what, what it is for us. But uh, they outplayed us in four out of five games, I think. And um, you got to give credit to them. But we got we to gotta keep uh, moving forward. And we got to address the things that we haven't done well. I know it's just the regular season, but you said the word embarrassing. I'm curious, just what is your level of frustration to have a team beat you four times and, you know, throw alley oops off the glass against you and kind of do some of that stuff? I mean, to me, I I think the embarrassing part is because we're so much better than what we're showing. It's not the fact that we lost to them or you know they threw the ball off the glass. I mean, it happens. It's the NBA. Some teams, you know, they got some younger guys. Um, they kind of play a flashy style sometimes, you know, that's their style. Um, that's just part of the game. So I, I wasn't, you know, that's not the part that's embarrassing. I just think that we're so much better than what we've shown in the games against them is what I mean by that. Um, but it's, you know, I also don't look at it like, oh, it's just the regular season. You know, we wanted to win these games. But I've also had this experience before where a team just had our number. You know, in my career, it was like, man, they just, you know, they kind of kicking our ass. and. We were a better team and a different team at the end of the season, and we ended up playing them in the playoffs, and it was completely the opposite. So, I mean, um, experience plays in our favor in that way, but we can't just think it's going to happen. we got to continue to become a better team. Well, speaking of experience, we know you have a lot of that with back-to-back -back games. How tough are these back-to-backs, especially on the road? It's tough, you know, especially coming off a, a loss, back-to-back -back losses. I think our first back-to-back -back, uh, losses of the season. But... Um, it's a good it's a good test for us. Uh, I think a lot of these things that we're experiencing right now are, are good for us because it's stuff that we got to grow through. Um, and regardless of what the result is in, in these moments, it's not the, the end of the world or the end of our season. So um, we just got to embrace it. Tomorrow is a new game. Uh, we got to think about this, though. You know, we got to watch watch these games and we got to um, address the things and be accountable for, you know, what we just aren't doing well enough, all of us, individually and collectively. 
and we got to take that that energy and that mentality into the game tomorrow night and just try to continue to build. Um, the best teams are the ones that don't ignore what happened tonight and the other night and in these games that we haven't played well, but they don't let them you know weigh on them to the point where we can't move on and do what we got to do. So um, I think that's what our mentality has to be. I know you are, you know, in preparation for the game itself as a whole, but Wemby, I know that you're a fan of individual players. I'm curious if there's any excitement for you to see him in person and play against you guys, unlike last time. I mean, he's a, an extremely um, unique talent. And, um, you know, I think all of the, the media coverage and everything, the hype around him, I think is, he's worthy of it. You know, just from when I'm watching him, how versatile he is, all of the things he can do, you know, he's a special talent. And, um, Anytime you can be on the floor with a, uh, you know, a guy like that, you know, up and coming and get to see him up close, you know, it's always fun.